Good morning. I'm Dr. Dickinson, Assistant Principal and 8th grade grade level principal. I hope you are looking forward to the start of after school activities the Tuesday after Labor Day. Participating is a great way to stay connected with your school and friends. After school activities take place on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 2.55 to 3.55. How do you get involved? There are three easy steps. Number one, for each date, the activities taking place will be listed on the morning announcements and on the NIFA website. Choose an activity and listen to the announcements to clarify that it is meeting. Number two, there will be sign-up forms for each activity in the cafeteria during lunches. Find the page with the activity you would like to attend. Print your first and last name on a line on the page. Do not sign other people up. They are responsible for their own signature and commitment. Number three, at 2.55 p.m. when the bell rings, report directly to the cafeteria and sit at the table labeled with your after-school activity. Your activity sponsor will arrive and take attendance and then escort you to where you are meeting for the day. After-school activities are over when the bell rings at 3.55. At that time, anybody walking or getting picked up is dismissed. Activity bus riders report directly to the South Gym. The procedure for taking the activity bus home is as follows. First, print your first and last name on the line by your bus stop. Second, line up by the red mat until all people have signed in and we are ready to load the bus. And third, board the bus at teacher instruction. Please note that there is only one NIFER activity bus. Therefore, it makes fewer stops than the 255 buses, so your bus stop may be a different location than your bus stop for the 255 bus. The bus driver will help you to determine which stop is yours if you are unsure. Now for the frequently asked questions. What if my activity of choice is full for the day? Then you can sign up for a different activity or you can wait and then try again the next time it meets. If the problem persists, please speak with Miss Rachel in the office or with me, Dr. Dickinson. I want to play intramural sports. When can I stay for those? Intramurals are a popular activity, so grade levels take turns. Only 6th grade stays on Tuesdays, only 7th grade on Wednesdays, and only 8th grade on Thursdays. What are the additional expectations for intramurals? Come wearing the appropriate shoes and ready to participate. There will be no spectators. If you sign up, it is to participate. Bell to bell no cell includes intramurals. Put your phone away and spend time participating. Students are responsible for their own equipment and property. NIFER does not assume responsibility for students' personal possessions. And there will be 8th grade NIFER versus North volleyball, soccer, basketball, as well as an all-school track meet during the year. Participation is dependent on consistent school attendance and appropriate behavior and involvement in the designated activity. Please stay tuned for announcements when practices begin. I have a detention, but I was planning to attend a, a club that day. Can I still go? Well, after-school detentions take priority over after-school activities. If you are assigned a detention on the day that you also have a club, you will be missing the club that day. Do I have to stay until 2.55? Only if a parent is picking you up and you are dismissed to check out in the office early or you to leave early. Otherwise, you need to stay with your chosen activity until the 3.55 bell rings. What if I forget to sign up but want to stay? Well, the expectation is that everyone signs up for their activity during the lunch period. If you forget to sign up, you will not be able to stay that day. What if I am staying after school to make up a test with a teacher or if I have a detention? Then where do I go at 2.55? Well, you still report to the cafeteria. Your teacher will come down to the cafeteria to get you before 3 o'clock. What is Power Hour and what are the expectations? Power Hour is an after-school study hall that is facilitated by a teacher. It is a great time to work on and get assistance with your homework. Enter the area quietly and remain quiet throughout the session. Arrive with all work materials and supplies that you will need to complete 50 minutes of work. You must be respectful to all Power Hour team members and to all Power Hour participants. You may not leave the Power Hour area without a pass from the teacher. You may not bring food, gum, candy, or drinks into the Power Hour area. And students who do not follow all of the Power Hour expectations will not be allowed to participate in the program for temporary or extended periods of time. Thank you for your time today. Have a great week.